Hello good people, this is Fisher12 and we have another exciting vlog for you guys today, as always, and I have some things on my mind, uh, these are some things that have been in my mind probably for the last year, maybe two years or so, and I really wanted to share them with you guys, but at the same time I also wanted to update you on what has been going on with the channel, what's been going on with my life, um, just YouTube in general, uh, I'm not really quite sure where to begin, maybe I should uh, just start with the updates first and that will help me lead into what I want to talk about. Um, so, as you guys know, I want to say maybe about a month or a month and a half ago, I graduated from college and life after college has been fantastic, it's been great. I love not having tests and quizzes, I love not having homework. Uh, if there are those of you out there who are struggling to get through school right now, I promise you that life gets better once you get over this hump of school. And I know that, that school is a very big hump to get over, but once you get over, like, smooth sailing, let me tell you, life has been amazing, top-notch. Uh, that's been great. Uh, I've also started working 40 hours a week at work, and that has been great, too. That has been fantastic. Uh, and also, around the same time that I graduated college and started working 40 hours a week, uh, where I'd previously been interning, you guys have probably heard me talk about that uh, before, the lease on my apartment expired. So when that happened, I moved from Boston to my parents' house uh, here in Lowell. And life in Lowell has been all right. It's not uh, my favorite place to live, but uh, I am in a pretty convenient location in Lowell, so that's good. Uh, but one thing that I've been struggling with with all these changes is sort of YouTube. YouTube has sort of been very much impacted by these life changes and I always feel like every time there's this turning point in my page like I, uh, I'm i completing a year of school or I'm getting a new job or you know whatever the event is whatever the page turning being turned is I always feel like it's supposed to be an opportunity for me to make more time for YouTube and for videos and for streaming and I feel like the actuality of the situation is that every time it actually takes away time from YouTube and streaming and videos and, and whatnot. And, and that's been really frustrating for me because I would say on my list of priorities, YouTube is, is pretty much at the top. I would say with the side from like my job and family, YouTube is up there, you know, hanging out with friends, uh, girlfriend, any anything else you can really think of below YouTube in my mind. But I feel like life doesn't necessarily allow me to put YouTube at such a high priority. Something that I've been really struggling with is finding time to make videos and to stream because now that I'm living home in Lowell, uh, I have to commute to Boston to work. And that takes up a lot of time. You know, I'm up at 5.30 in the morning to catch my train at 6.18 and I don't get home till about 7 p.m. at night. And I'll be honest with you guys, after working that longer, it's not even that I'm working that long, I'm working an eight hour day, I just have about like four extra hours of commuting on top of that, I'm beat, I'm tired, I have no energy. There are some times where I fall asleep on the train home. And I feel like during those times, like to try to make a video, to try to stream, would, would not be my best quality content. I would be tired, I would be exasperated, I would have low energy levels, and I feel like making content under those circumstances is not the type of content I want to be putting out to you guys. I want to be putting out to you guys top, high quality, high energy content. I, I want to be giving you guys the best content I can produce. And after working eight hours a day and commuting, it's that's just not the time. And it, it, it's hard. It's frustrating because, like I said, I want to make videos and my daily life, at least Monday through Friday doesn't really allow me to do that. So I find myself sort of cramming in everything into Saturdays and Sundays and whatnot. And I guess that works, but I would like to be more free during the week to, 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 to stream for you guys, to, to interact with you guys, to do more, more of this, more of this talking. I feel like this is what YouTube is supposed to be all about, the interaction between uh, you know, creator and viewer, or not even creator and viewer at this point, you know, friends or buddies. You guys tell me what's going on in your life. I remember Brutal left a comment on a video 
like yesterday or something saying that sorry that he was apologizing for being AFK because he had just joined the Marines and had been too busy with that and the fact that you guys are, are so willing to incorporate me that much into your life that you feel the need to update me is, is something that I love that is why I do YouTube to feel like we have this this bond this relationship between us and I feel like I've been sort of dropping the ball on my part the other thing I've been struggling with outside of just finding time and having the energy and sort of uh, getting the planets to align is not a lot of people have been watching my content lately. And I know that maybe I'm at fault for that, for not uploading consistently. You know, take Breaking Bad, for example. Take any TV show. A TV show doesn't become popular and watched by uploading an episode one week then taking a week off, then uploading another week, then taking another week off, and then maybe uploading two the next week, and then one the next week, and one the next week, and then another week off. Like, that's not how things come to be. Consistency is the most important thing, and I have not been consistent. So maybe that's why people are watching, or aren't watching, rather. But I think it's really because people just aren't enjoying the content, and that's understandable, that's fine. I have only been making Call of Duty content, or Call of Duty-specific content, because that is content that I enjoy making, and that's content that I know how to make, in my opinion, because I've been doing it since... Oh, I've been probably making YouTube gaming videos since, like, 2010 now. I've been doing YouTube since 2008, December of 2008, December 20th of 2008. So, I mean, I feel like I understand YouTube and how the scene works, and I feel like I'm good at sort of reading how my channel is doing, but... Like I said, people aren't watching the content, and, and that's okay, that's understandable, but I want to know what content you guys do want to watch. If it's not Call of Duty content, you know, what game is it? What content is it? Uh, you know, I definitely think I put myself, not a, in a rabbit hole, I don't even know if that's an expression, but at a handicap by picking to do Call of Duty news and intel and whatnot, because... A lot of the times, if you're not first, you might as well be the last. And you could even be first and still not be the most viewed video on the subject. You know, all it takes is Team Martin Drifter to make the same video you are for no one to watch your video. And, and I understand that. I get that. It's frustrating, but I get it. So, and even more to the fact, I'm here telling you guys that I don't have time to make videos. You guys saw that one of my last videos, I vlogged the information that was released. I didn't do a normal style commentary because I don't have time to be on the ball. I am not sitting at home all day waiting for Call of Duty to drop the newest piece of intel so I can make a video about it. You know, I'm at work. I don't check Twitter. I don't see YouTube. There are some times where I can go a full 24 hours without knowing what happened in the YouTube gaming scene. And that, like I said, that makes it hard to, to make content. Um, back to what I was saying. So yeah, so the Call of Duty content doesn't really seem to be working. And like I said probably three or four times now that's okay I'm okay with that but what I do want to know is what content do you guys want to see what gaming content is content that you guys will watch and I know a lot of you may feel the need to tell me girl advice videos but I will be completely honest with you guys right now and say that the odds of me making another girl advice video right now are slim to none and it's not that I don't enjoy making that content or I don't enjoy putting that content out for you guys I would say a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with the fact that when I have to tell someone about my YouTube channel or I have to describe the videos that I make or just whatsoever, or even when other people are telling others about my YouTube channel, they just always focus on the fact that I do girl advice and people just don't, people just don't understand. You know, you guys understand the girl advice and I understand the girl advice and other people on YouTube might understand, the, you know, the reason for doing girl advice in the market there and, and the need to have that those questions answered. But a lot of the times they just don't get it and I feel like I get judged and ridiculed and I, I'm giving off the wrong impression. Like, I, I remember, I remember... Like a year and a half ago, I was at PAX. I was talking with like one of the head guys of Astro Gaming, and my friend butted into the conversation. And was like, "Hey, if you like Call of Duty and girl advice, this is the guy for you." And it's like, that's not really what my channel is about. That's just one small thing I do on my channel, and that's definitely not the tagline I want to be using when I'm trying to make a connection. Now, my friend had all good intentions. He was not trying to embarrass me, but I don't want people to associate my channel with girl advice because that's not. 
the only content I make and I don't want to be defined by that content. So if not making that content is what I need to do to get this perspective changed about my channel, then that is something I am willing to do uh, because there is nothing that I hate more than having to feel embarrassed about telling people or talking about my YouTube channel because I have to talk about girl advice because it's part of my channel or because someone else is going to bring it up and ask me about it. You know, th that's not, that's just not something I enjoy. And, you know, YouTube should be something enjoyable, something I'm proud about, something that I want to share with other people. And if not making girl advice videos gets me to that point, then that is unfortunately what I have to do. Now, I don't want to say that I'll never make another girl advice video again, because I don't think that will be true, but they definitely are taking a backseat to other types of content right now. And the only reason why I'm telling you guys and being frank with you is because I know it's the content you guys are sitting and waiting for, and I don't want you guys sitting around waiting for the next girl advice video if I know that it's not coming. I'm just trying to be honest and truthful with you guys. That's something I've been trying to do more of, not necessarily because I'm a liar or something like that, but I feel like... A lot of the times on YouTube, people just omit details or aren't ex entirely truthful. Or so I'm really trying to just be more open, be more honest with you guys, tell you guys how it actually is. Because the number one th thing that I hate about YouTube, uh, even more so than not having time to do it. Well, actually, I don't think that's it's more so than not having time. But anyway, something else that's really bothering me about YouTube is that it's become this game where... Okay, who can put the most clickbait title? Who can put the most, like, attractive tags? Who can who can basically do things to make their video more appealing because they know that what they're uploading isn't all that exciting? And, and maybe this will be a very bad example to pick because he's in Optic, but whatever. Optic Embos uploaded a video, like, a day or so ago, and it was titled, Almost Killing My Optic Team Member. And the video is of Mike, a flame sword, driving down the road, and Embo's just slightly cutting into his lane and then cutting back without using his blinker. And somehow that split second video, or that split secondness was part of like a five minute video titled Almost Killing My Optic Team Member, or something like that. It was Almost Killing Something with Optic in the title. And it's like, that video was not you almost killing an Optic team member. That video was you being an incompetent driver, slightly cutting into the lane, and then cutting back. And the fact that, like, that is acceptable, the fact that that is okay and promoted and uh, uh, cheered for, not cheered for, but, like, um, you, getting, getting a pat on the back, like, good video, Bose, like... That's not a good video, and if people think that that's a good video, then I am ashamed by people's standards, because... I'm going to try to upload some Metal Gear Solid content. I've been doing playing a lot of that game, so hopefully uh, I can upload maybe a live stream of that or just me playing, and you guys will appreciate that. But like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.